Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. That doesn't sound good. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. But I want to do something for I'm you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Hmm. That's kind of a problem, considering the mages are the people I'm trying to get to. Oh, God, where do I even start with this? Uh, that one. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Guess I'll have to do this before I actually join any camp, or at least not before joining this one. Hmm. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the High Magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. Yeah. Where can I find Mordrek? You'll find him at the South Gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Hmm. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. Well, that sounds good. He did seem to have some interesting items I don't mind having. I'll take care of it. Hmm. I'm going to save the game again because I don't feel like talking to him again. And then try out those other dialogue options. They just seem like really dangerous If I ones. gave you a certain amount of ore, would you let me in the castle? For a certain amount. How much? Well, it'd have to take a while to count the ore. Long enough to make sure me and my boys are busy counting while you slip by. So tell me, how much? One thousand nuggets should be enough. A thousand nuggets? Well, you could join up with Gomez. That'd get you in the castle for free. It's like he wants me to join Gomez or something. Huh. I need to get into the castle. I have a letter here for the High Fire Mage. And you expect me to let you stroll inside the castle to hand it over and collect your reward? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Show me the letter. I'm not letting you handle it. Forget it. Okay. I've forgotten. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was kind of uh, something I really didn't want to tell more or um, Thoris. I mean. So, um, yeah, it looks like we got a new thing to do, and that is mess around with Mordrak. And, 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 there, I do believe there was a pan somewhere in this area. And I want to see if I can cook something with that pan. There it is. I want to see if I can use the raw meat on that pan. And if I understand correctly, what I have to do is highlight the pan and then... Go to raw meat, and then hold forward to press buttons. That Nothing's happening. What the? What? 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 Let's, no, that's not working. 
Uh, I dropped it. Right, that, that was not bad. Did I just drop 60, 86 raw meat? Did I seriously just do that? Apparently I did. 86, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, dude. It's a bit weird. He doesn't really seem to want to cook the raw meat. That's, uh... I guess he just really likes raw meat. I, I don't know. I don't know why else he wouldn't want to do this, so... Yep, guess he just really likes raw meat, so we're just gonna eat it raw. But I'll probably look into that a little bit more later when I am not recording. I'll just read on the internet why he really does not want to cook that raw meat. Do, 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 do. Go into Mordrag. I believe I know where he is. I have walked past him a fair amount of times. That and, you know, the guy kind of told me where he was. That, that's probably kind of a helpful hint. In figuring out where he is as well. Although I believe I'm now running in the wrong direction. Because I'm 90% sure he's right here. So I was entirely wrong. And that's the guy dressed in new camp clothing. So I guess that's the guy we have to talk to. You have a problem. This camp ain't big enough for the both of us really. Let's see Show what you have goods. first though. Choose something. Uh, let's see. Teeth really? What? Play, torch, ore, bread, rice, now. Yeah, he has some uh, interesting things. He doesn't have an awful lot, though. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to save the game because saving the game is what I do in this game. It's called Gothic, but actually it's called Game Saving 2000. Uh, you have a problem. You have a problem. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. What makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because I think you're smarter than that boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We too need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. Hmm. You know, it probably would be a good idea to check out the new camp at least. Uh, let's try this one first. Are you really though. the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magicians' couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Hmm. That does sound pretty good, but let's see what we can do otherwise first, because I really like Diego and I want to join the old camp. It would be so much fun. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. We have our own mine, but the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So what is it used for? Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. Hmm. Right, I guess I'll see if he can take me to the new camp. And then. if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He's the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. Hmm. I'll take. I'll let him take me to the new camp first. Let's go to uh, the maybe new later. Camp. Okay, follow me. Maybe later I can beat him up a little bit just to uh, satisfy his own wish. Hi, Jackal. Don't mind me. I don't have any money. Go away, Jackal. Little bastard. You know, maybe Mordrak finds some enemies he really wants to get rid of just for me. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Though if the old camp is where I think it is, then we probably won't really face too many adversaries. Is that a cave where I haven't... No, no, I think that's the cave where I found next, so I don't really have to worry about that one. Actually, is it? I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty... Sh yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, let's... Uh, what? Mordrag, what are you doing? Uh, Mordrag? What? What are you doing, Mordrag? I, I want to... Hello? Hello. You seem to be going back to the village... What 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 are you doing, more drag? Why are you taking this really weird route? Is it because I was looking at the cave and you don't like me looking at other caves while I'm walking around with you? Oh, that's really annoying. But oh well. Let's see where you take me. Let's see where there's enemies around scattered. 
I'm vaguely surprised that you didn't get stuck on that log of wood. Because the pathfinding in this game is not the best in the world. I will say that much. Oh, I didn't have my weapon equipped. Crap. No, I want to equip this one first. Oh, I get the experience anyway because these are my team, I suppose. There we go. Probably shouldn't try to hit more drag right now. That would probably be a bad idea. So I'm just going to casually loot these guys. Don't like me. Doo -doo -doo. Hello? Hello. I didn't mean to talk to you. I went to talk to that little scavenger lying over there to take his meat. He barely took any damage at all from getting hit several times. I probably shouldn't try to beat Mordrak just yet. He seems to be a little bit more powerful than I am. Bother. Though he didn't really seem to do all that much damage against that scavenger, which is a little bit weird. I mean, considering how, well, he doesn't take damage, that's, um, uh, you'd think he'd be able to kill them quicker, but apparently not. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of where I expected to, um, where I expected a new camp to be. Also, one thing I didn't mention, I got 750 experience for handing that list to Diego. That's really quite a large amount. I mean, I'm already, uh, pretty much halfway on the way to getting to the next level again, so that's really good. I hope uh, maybe uh, Mordorak can kill some more enemies for me. That would be kind of good. And then uh, just quickly make my way over to level 5. Where Diego will take me into his happy home of happiness. But I'll probably do the uh, side quests for the swamp camp first though. I'm kind of interested in seeing what kind of weird side quests those people have over there. And the extra experience probably couldn't hurt. And I could probably get some extra armor out of it as well. And I would definitely enjoy that. Maybe I'll be able to learn some magic as well. That'd be kind of good. Hmm. I wonder if I can lure the wolf to uh, Mordrak. Probably not. He's kind of far away. And, uh, hmm. It's kind of convenient that all the people from certain camps are dressed in a certain way. So you can just see who do I want to kill and who do I not want to kill. So right now, it doesn't really matter, does it? I am not powerful enough to take on most things. I kind of forgot what the point was of joining the new camp, though. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I know um, that uh, they basically only have things made of rice, if I remember correctly. Like, that's the only food they have. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the other camp had armor, and the, camp, the old camp had just nice things in general, it seemed. That was, that was pretty much the reason for joining the old camp, so. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I wonder how much longer we're going to have to follow more drag around, though. Oh, I think we're probably reaching the uh, new camp here. Well, here we, here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. Okay, well, I guess we have a reason, or at least uh, a way for them to accept me uh, to talk to What's-His-Face. We got some extra experience. We got 200 experience again just by walking over here, so that's definitely good. And, um, yeah, I think we pretty much have a goal for what to do right now. But uh, I think I'm going to take a little break just after scaling this little mountain over here. Just uh, going to quickly just, just check out what's on the top of this mountain over here. Because it looks like it's a dead end, and I do like dead ends. Dead ends make me happy. Mountain moss! Did not expect to find mountain moss, but I definitely found some good old-fashioned mountain moss. Never know where well, you need some mountain moss and some uh, some dragon root. Definitely need some dragon root. Oh my, and those are the enemies. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> I remember those enemies from Gothic 4, and they are nasty. And I can only imagine that in this game they're even worse, to be honest. Because everything that is in Gothic 4 and is also in this game, in this game they're more horrible. And I'm going to eat some meat. Actually, what's this? Ham. When did I get ham? That's the largest piece of bread I've ever seen. Oh, do do raven herb. Sure, why not? Just eat. Oh, that's mana. Whoops, that was a bit stupid. And that was worth way more health than I actually lost. So that was... Uh, oh, God, lizards. Okay, gonna have to be a little bit more careful. 
And I'm going to take these guys out with arrows. I think that's probably a good idea. Boom, boom, boom. Not going to take a break just yet. Just going to explore a little bit more. Just going to find what's in these caves in over here. Little watery cave. And seem to be uh, some sort of healing potion over there. At least a red potion. That's usually a healing potion. So might as well give it a quick look-see. Let's see. What do we have here? A potion. Just a regular potion. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. What's that? Mordrax ring. Dexterity bonus. Oh, I, I guess I'll equip it for now, actually. That's probably not a bad idea. Should probably just keep it, to be honest. But, uh, you know. I'm an idiot and I will just give away everything I own. Uh, it's a healing. Spark healing. Yeah, there's a healing potion. Uh, you know what? Now that I have um, all these nice things and leveled up a couple times and added some points to strength and whatnot, I think I'm going to try to take on one of these lizards again, see if uh, anything at all has changed. Although I am kind of curious. So that's another cave. It does look to be another cave, and there's some people here as well. And he's looking at me, and that guy is uh, standing above a potion. What the hell are you doing here? Is that seriously your voice? Oh god, you're... Oh god. He is not happy about me at all. Oh god, he's actually shooting me with arrows! Okay, I don't think he can hit me from there. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, that one's really horrible. Minecrawler soup, really? Ooh. And also the icon seems to have disappeared. That's a bit weird. That was probably not supposed to happen, but, you know. This game... It has its squirks every once in a while. I wonder if I can hit him from here, actually. Oh, he can hit me from there. Yeah. Good God, he's shooting quickly. Yeah, he's definitely shooting quickly. I'm going to count this as a death because I don't feel like uh, giving all my ores to that guy. Uh, when did I save again? Well, at least I know not to go into that cave because that's just a generally bad idea. I am going to try to take down this lizard man over here. After fighting those scavengers, you seem a lot nicer. Scavengers seem a lot nicer than those new cab bastards. Ugh, they are not nice. They are not nice at all. Interesting thing is that when you run forward and then just use the use button or the fight button pretty much, you do seem to do a little slash like this. So you can kind of do a running attack and that's really useful against scavengers like these because that'll stun them for a second. And that does seem to work pretty well, so I think I'll keep that in mind. In fact, I'm just going to definitely make sure that that does indeed work by uh, just running at that one scavenger that is still alive and poke my microphone again. This is a good uh, session for poking my own microphone repeatedly. Oh, and I messed up horribly. Wow. That, that, that went quite bad, but, uh, you know got some meat, so it doesn't really matter too much. I can just heal myself back up again. But yeah, just gonna give one more shot at fighting these lizards. Don't like that there's several of them now, but, uh, you know, take what you can get, I suppose. Just gonna save the game. And if I die horribly, then I'll just leave it for later, I suppose. But, uh, you know, it's worth a shot. If you don't try, you don't succeed, eh? Okay, there we go. And I managed to lure both of them. And yeah, they still deal damage. They definitely still deal damage. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I, I suppose I could probably take them on like this, but it would take bloody ages and I can't really be bothered, to be honest. So I think we'll just add another one to the death count and say we'll save that one for later because that's that just went bad that went really bad there's four flies over there i'm i'll keep them for later as well how much experience do i have right now 6820 need 700 well 680 more for leveling up but we'll do that the next time and we're almost well we're pretty much ready to be accepted into diego's um group really so that's kind of cool but yeah, I'm going to take a little break over here, so I hope you enjoyed it so far, and I will see you next time when we will venture into the old new cap. Yeah, the new cap. So yes, hope you enjoyed it so far, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.